Hi everyone, welcome to the Nostalgic Dragon where I talk about fantasy books and mythological books. Today a short video on mythology um, and some books that I will show you uh, on mythology. I also want to give you a brief definition on mythology. You don't need to agree, I want you to comment in the field below. Uh, one way to see mythology is that there are uh, many mythologies all around the world uh, that reflects different cultures and different groups of people. The mythologies and the mythological stories concerns the origin of Earth and the origins of cosmos, different creation myths, you could say. It has to do with uh, moral stories. Mm, there is usually pantheon and within the pantheon there are many stories, often many short stories that are connected to a big universe. Mythology um, sometimes is described as something that is not real or but I think that's that's a maybe biased way of um, describing mythology because sometimes in the West uh, Hinduism for example or Buddhism or other um, beliefs today in the world are described as mythology. Obviously people believe uh, in uh, not only the stories, but the gods and the way of life that uh, the stories describe. Um, also, obviously, in ancient ancient Greek Greece, which uh, ancient uh, you know Greek mythology was obviously a, a, a worship or a pra religious practice for many people. Now described as a mythology, it can sound a bit. Uh, um, Maybe not so positive to speak about mythologies if you have the idea that it's something that is not true. But there is also overlap between mythology, spirituality and religion and I want you to think about that. And also fantasy actually, even, even if fantasy obviously is made up. Uh, no one I suppose believe or very few in, in Middle Earth and in, in Tolkien's Middle Earth for example. But um, during my, my journey in mythological books, that is, my reading is very close, connected to mythology and fantasy. When I was small, I read this book, uh, Nordic um, Hero Tales, and uh, Tales About Gods, uh, for example. I, I liked that, and I thought that was very interesting. I think I read it actually before, uh, Tolkien. Um, also, this book, this is new, but it's about gods and goddesses in ancient Greek mythology. Um, I read a lot of those stories and books as well. I think um, also that is very interesting. And I mean, here is like in the Nordic uh, mythology is a big uh, pantheon, for example. I will come back to the pantheon. And, the kind of literature of course when i was in india i bought a lot of um, you could say comics about uh, the uh, uh, mythology and religious stories that exist there here is one the mahabharat uh, maybe some of you recognize this it's uh, amar chetra kata that's the company and it's usually a very uh, nicely il illustrated stories from not only Hinduism that is from all all religions and spiritual traditions in that exist in India uh, uh, today um, so here is the Mahabharata I have a uh, comic here with Buddha for example <coughs> so um, different kind of ways of portraying mythology and religious stories um, another person who was important to me was Alf Hendrickson. You could say he was a kind of mythologist. I think he was a scientist, Swedish. He's a, is an encyclopedia uh, uh, about mostly, I think, Western mythology, you could say. Uh, so that's interesting because in here is also Christianity, which of course is a religion that people believe in, but Maybe for some people they would call it a, a mythology. It's a very heavy, you can see, like this. 
uh, a lot of words, a lot of descriptions, and very interesting to to have. Um, sorry, this is another book, David Day, uh, a dictionary of sources of Tolkien. It's uh, you can uh, look up the Balrog or the tree beard and read about the origins uh, from other mythologies. Uh, so that's interesting too. So ob obviously fantasy and uh, mythology is connected. Lastly, I will just show you this beautiful version of uh, Dead House Gates, book two in the Malasan book called Fallen. And um, obviously Ericsson has a pantheon there are many people uh, who are maybe half gods on the way up or on the way down. There are temples, etc. There is connections here with the mythology and spirituality and also through Ericsson's background as an archaeologist. I think that's very obvious. So spirituality, fantasy mythology, it's all interconnected somehow. I'm saying that uh, I don't want to upset anyone who has religious beliefs. I have it myself, uh, spiritual beliefs. So, uh, but obviously, humankind has been very spiritual since start and like to create different kind of stories. So that was a short video on mythology. Now I would like to hear your views on this video and also, what do you think mythology is and. How does it differ from spirituality and religion and fantasy? So please give me your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Bye.